This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Is it heck? Just wanted to say before this video starts, um, a few days ago, I spent a bit of time, well, by a bit of time, I mean 48 minutes, talking to Ian Bettis, who runs a channel called Tire, uh, Goggles, Tires and Trainers. And we had a great chat about YouTube growth, being a YouTube creator, what it's like being a daily vlogger, all that sort of jazz. So if you're looking for a long video discussion between me and him about all things YouTube, basically, if you've got a turbo session that you're going to be really, really bored on, please do go and give it a watch. I'll leave it in a link down below in the description. Uh, he's a great guy. He's got a great channel himself so please do check him out obviously it's the best video he's ever put out that, um, that i'm on but there are a few that come quite close to it as well so please do check it out anyway on to the video good afternoon hello welcome to the triathlon dan youtube channel and welcome to another day of triathlon training if i'm honest i don't really know how to start today's video because there are many advantages and disadvantages to being a daily vlogger one of them is because of my schedule so today when i'm recording this video Yesterday's video hasn't gone out yet because it's lunchtime, I'm for a lunchtime run. So yesterday's video, which I talked about having to stop for a toilet stop on a run, hasn't gone out. So I don't know what the reaction was. So I don't really know how to like respond. But of course, when you see this bit, you think I have seen that because it's the day after. Whereas in reality, I haven't. So I don't really know what to say about that other than hopefully it doesn't happen today. That's pretty much my number one aim for this run, to be honest. So yeah, lunchtime run. I'll leave the stats on screen now somewhere. Don't know why I was shouting, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, five miles or so, just real steady. As I said, number one priority is to not poo in a bush. So if that happens, then that's great. In terms of actual training load, you know, yesterday was an easier day. So today I'm gonna pick it up a little bit more. It's gonna be this run at lunchtime. And then I've got a tough bike session tonight. I'm hoping to do some sort of core or strength work as well, so I bet you look out for that. Anyway, I'll uh, see you later on the bike. Good evening, bike session time. The session is, I've already been on the bike for 10 minutes, so I've just got off to go and get the camera from inside, I forgot to bring it out. I'm supposed to be a YouTuber. Anyway, uh, the session is five times five minutes at threshold off of one minute recovery, which is basically nothing, after 30 minutes of zone two. Now, my legs are hurting quite a lot, so I'm gonna see how I'll get on the next 10, next 10 15 minutes. And I might adapt that slightly or change it, who knows, but yeah, we'll see. Sorry about the noise, Liz is really rudely running on the treadmill. I'm trying to talk to a camera, Liz, and focus on a bike session. How you doing? Yeah, fine, just having a nice, easy trot. What, oh, is it just a steady run? Yeah. How far are you going? How long are you doing? But no, it's just an extra session tonight for me, so. Bonus session? It's a nice, easy one. Somebody panic training for Holcomb, are they? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> You've learned from the best. 13 weeks on Sunday until hour or half. I need to, as I'm talking about cutting the session short, I need to train as best I can for the next 12 weeks because there's more and more people doing hour or half Nottingham. They reopened entries a few days ago. So, fewer people to, what, we're we gonna try and show me up, Liz? Yeah. I know, so anyway, I need to get in decent shape. I'll see you when it gets a bit harder. Liz, I'm doing a threshold effort, so do you wanna talk us through what you've just done? Minutes easy watching YouTube. <laughs> I don't really like the treadmill if I'm honest, but that made the time go quick. Good, not talking to me now. No, <laughs> all right, enjoy your efforts. All well, day on the second one out of five. I'm gonna crack on, I'll speak to you at the end. Well done, Liz. Thank you. You know, it's summer when triathlon Dan hasn't got a base layer on in the garage, the chest throw is back out. I used to show like a side profile of me, like topless just in bib shorts on the turbo when you could see my ribs, but now you can't see them. I'm gonna hold off doing that for a little while if that's okay. So the session is as here, uh, nice zone two block. That little dip there was me forgetting the camera. Um, so five times five minutes. I don't know what the power was. I was pretty much on the money. So I'd say around 340 watts for each interval. If I'm honest, my heart rate stayed quite low. When I ran at lunchtime and then train in the evening, it does tend to sit a bit lower. Just the body being a little bit like aerobically fatigued, like it takes a bit more to drag it up, they'll get the old ticker working. I'm really happy with that. Great day's training. I'm not gonna do any strength work tonight because I don't normally do it anyway, but I'm gonna do a little bit of stretching and flexibility. No, I'm not gonna make you watch me in yoga pants doing that, uh, but I am gonna do it, I promise. So that is it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do give this video a like. Helps other people discover the channel. And I'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. for, what's tomorrow? A long run and then a ride with Liz. So that should be good fun. See you later. Now Liz, now I've done that clip, you can come back and sit on the sofa if you'd like. No, quite fine over here, thanks. <laughs>